Alrighty, folks, welcome on back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Uh, today, we are st still in here trying to find the uh, Tesseract's lock for Scavola. And let's see here. The cohort passes close to a Skatari unit that is hard-pressed to hold a key junction. They've weathered several Necron assaults already, and their resolve is faltering. Uh, let's see here. We could say some encouraging words and move on. This is not the only Skatari unit fighting hard in the tomb of Metlob. We could prayer with the cohort, or we could give words of warning. Uh, let's say some encouraging words and move on. The cohort pays little attention to the embattled Skatari and exchange just a few words. The moment passes and both units turn back to their onerous duty. We got some initiative for that for the last battle. Excellent. All right, so that's now, what, two turns faster? That's fine. I can deal with two turns faster. At least we never got to the... Uh... Well, hello. All right, so we have two consoles that we have to scan or destroy. Let's see here. Wait a minute. Why aren't you being deployed? Okay, why aren't you being deployed? Why does it say eight? When he still has all of his... Okay. Alright, so we've got a destroyer. An immortal. Here's another console. And another console. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to put each... On the edge, we're going to grab the consoles and then do what we can. Uh, let's see here. Do I want to bring in anybody else? The answer is no. Okay. So we do have to go quickly. That's going to use... Oh, no. That won't use any... Will it? I don't think so. All right. So let's move all the way in. We're going to grab some cognition. Oh, good. We didn't actually use it. Excellent. 131 Blackstone. Uh, I'm now going to... Uh, let's see here. Let's heal over here. And get this on cooldown as well. And grab a CP from back here. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. Grab. Oh, I thought there was going to be more. Oh, there is some right here in the middle. Awesome. And then... Come scan this for me. Hundred and thirty one. Now the question is, do I want to come get yeah, I want to come get this cognition. Yes, it's gonna use one, but it's gonna be a net gain of one. And then I can continue all the way down here. Now these guys shouldn't be able to shoot anybody. Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretically. All right. So we are now maxed on cognition. And yeah, I'm going to bring in the Vanguard. We're going to bring him over here. Actually, no, let's bring him over here. Okay, that was just a bad placement. All right, awesome. Uh, let's see here. That's on cooldown. That's on cooldown. So let's come in here. Eighteen, huh? Okay, well, there's nine. Let's scan this real quick. Uh, 
I can actually scan both and get back behind him. Awesome. Cryptex, Praetorians, Immortals. All right. Time to come back behind and into the turn. Okay, let's see here. Let's come scan here. We're going to end up using a little bit of CP this turn, but only because they provided me with this very nice opportunity to fire in a straight line. All right, so we got that one. Let's grab this one. That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Close to 800 Blackstone that we just received. Okay, let's come here. Let's try this. Okay, I can't do it from there. I, can't, I wouldn't be able to do it from here either because of melee range. However, I might be able to finagle something. I can get three. Let's get these three. Okay, one is down. He's actually next. Okay, let's get two down if we can. Okay, two are down. Well, I could have used that, but that's all right. I should have used this, but again, that's all right. Uh, let's heal yourself. Let's have you come stand up here so that we get some CP here in a minute. Uh, and I'm actually going to use this, and I'm going to give all priests plus two plus two for armor. Which is huge when you think about it. All right. We'll wait on that. Oh, they get up in one turn. Great. All right, let's bring you up here. Let's uh, shoot this guy. <laughs> let's bring you that one more. Yep, he's going to take a little bit of damage, but that's all right. Even with five armor, we're still taking damage. That is incredible. Okay, who's next? The Destroyer's next, which I doubt I can get anybody in there. Uh, I can try. Nope, he's just going to move further away. Although he's no longer going to be shooting us. So there is that. Okay. Okay. Sadly enough, I will take it. That absorbed three attacks. This guy's now down. Now, his next turn isn't until way back here. So, after the Vanguard. So... Let's see here. Let's grab a CP actually come up after the destroyer which is going to use one CP but we're going to gain one immediately back oh that's a lot of armor however we're going to destroy all three of it excellent alright so he now has seven left let's put uh, Minarius Minarius Monarius behind. Um, you don't need any health. We do need health over here. Yeah.
All right, I'm also going to use this to give us a whole bunch of extra CP. And we've used everything. Cool. Now, for Minarius, we are going to use his Servo Skull to grab a CP. Which fills us up. We are going to move over here. And fire this thing again. Oh, good, a crit. Excellent. Let's use this. Get some extra damage and a crit. And shoot here. Well, this is going well. Let's see here. Let's heal yourself. So you're back up to full. He's next. Just to make him move, I'm going to stand right next to him. Okay. Here we can take this shot, which removes him. Move in. Yep. All I wanted to do was get him to move. That was a very powerful crit. Why didn't we get an attack of opportunity there? Huh. That's odd. Okay. Well, let's drop down a vanguard. Let's bring him in here. We at least get one attack. Which deals a little bit of damage to everybody. And we can end the turn. Well, he survived. There's at least that. Okay, let's see here. You have six left. I'm actually going to come stand right here in between the two. A one. I'm going to have you move over, because I just had an idea. Uh, let's see here. Let's get you to heal yourself. Let's get you to heal here. And I wish I could use this one to heal all the way down here, but that would take a CP. So we're going to end the turn. We are going to... Use this ability. Um, if I move back, could I hit both of these guys without hitting my own? Yes. If barely. Excellent. That was a lot of CP. <laughs> I wish that had more of an impact on what happened at the end of the mission, but it doesn't. The cohort locates the partially assembled Tesseract Lock. Though its construction is undeniably alien, the Cestus Mechanicus Tech Priests and Analytical Cogitators learn enough from the lock to make opening further examples a possibility. The Library of Mehlab has been, thus, has been locked thus far. Now the Adeptus Mechanicus has the key. Tesseract locked analysis commences. Quantum entanglement encryption slash micromagnetic clamps slash autonomous information quarantine slash chaotic theory encoding. Impressive. How can they be opened? Speculation. Every lock equals different. Quantum uncertainty principles prevent universal solution. Hypothesis. Combination of improvisational anti-maintenance and applied kinetic force plus probability of success. Brute force, then. But it is possible to open them. Possible equals true. Probable equals uncertain. So it's possible to open them, but we don't know for certain. Oh, I should have seen if he had any heals before I 
blasted everybody into smithereens. We are getting so close. I have no idea what happens when we hit 100% awakening. We found 1,300 blackstone. That's crazy. All right, suffer 150 energy attacks. That's plus six energy armor for one round. We also found Sarsgon. The magnificence of a long vanished dynasty is perfectly preserved in this tomb. Overwhelming in its aggressive grandeur, the halls are polished grandiose marvels adorned with the images of Necrons glowering down as if to ward off the eyes of the unworthy. This place is a monument to the power and arrogance of the interred. Every surface reflects the assumption of total authority. The dark opulence boils over into obscenity as the creator thought of itself not just as a king, but as a god. To a human, the wealth contained within this place is astonishing, but such concerns wither in the presence of whatever the tomb was built to aggrandize. It is impossible for such monument of power to go unguarded. I do believe... That is the last sector. And I could take on Sargon. We might do that here relatively soon. Um, I would like to get a new... What is this? Oh, that's a cognitive canister. Okay. To get a new tech priest, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, let's see here. What do we want to do then? We could get Vanguard's level three. This is hard. We've got spiders, which we haven't faced before. Praetorians, immortals, destroyers, and anthros, acanthrites. Or, um, or. <laughs> Whoa, that'd be interesting. That'd be nice if they grouped up, which they don't usually. I'm actually, I'm not sure what we want to do. I do know that I would like to level these guys up again, which I believe is the last one. So choose between two cantidols, restore all HP on all tech priests or all HP on all troops. Wow. I'll take it. One with the machine. Have a tech priest unlock two full discipline, discipline trees. What is galvanic rifle? Unlock this Katari Ranger. Okay, so what are we still missing? We've got defeat Methlob, defeat Neftusk, Reach a four tech priest cohort. Six. Unlock this Katari Ranger. Unlock the Taptron Breacher. Unlock the robot. Defeat Sargon. Defeat Sargon before the final countdown. I'm considering doing this. Side with Vidix and side with Scavola. All right. You know, I think he's good. Let's come over here. Let's grab your final two upgrades, apparently. What are you currently wearing? Three max HP and three to movement. This one is two and two. All right. And your last upgrade. Cast a canticle for free. The canticle can be used again later in the mission. All right. So there's two tech priests fully upgraded. And I don't know... What else I want to give them? Uh, so, I also don't know what mission we're going to go on. However, I personally am out of time for this episode. Um, I know it's a little bit short, but we're back here. So next time, we'll figure out exactly where we want to go, what we want to do. I'm thinking of taking on this one. Taking on Sargon, Mehlab, and Neftusk. Um, the only problem is I would take on all three simultaneously. And I would prefer to take on each one 
one by one so that it's not all three at the same time. However, as we get closer to 100%, we'll, uh, we'll have to decide that fact. So I'll figure out exactly what I want to do later. As for right now, I hope you folks enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.